it's time to crack into this booster box as I look for that Mew V because it's so cute. Hello everyone and welcome to the Pokecart Quest where we believe that collecting is an adventure and adventures are more fun when shared with others. So hit that subscribe button down below to become part of our adventuring party. Today we have the Darkness of Blaze booster box. We're going to open up 12 packs from this box uh, and we are after uh, several cards. I, I know we probably, if you've seen the last couple of videos, um, we've started going after... Um, well, one card from each rarity. I don't know why I can't get this open. One card from each rarity um, in an effort to... I mean, it's always fun to pull ultra rares and it's fun to pull full arts. And, um, but collecting is about completing something, right? Um, and it is time that we start sharing in some of those small victories. Um, so today we are after uh, Morlol, Combuskin, Wigglytuff, Hoopa, Mew V, Scizor, V Max, the Full Art Rose, and the Gold Turbo Patch. Um, it's just something that we can celebrate along the way, and honestly, when you're looking for a particular common, um, that's kind of fun to, like, pull it. I mean, it's never fun to pull commons, but, um, you know, maybe we can make it fun to pull commons, because, uh, I don't know. Um, these are all cards that I need for my collection. I uh, have not yet pulled uh, in the openings that we've had so far on the channel. These don't feel as... I don't know. These don't feel as thick as the last few I've opened. Um, yeah, so we're going to go through 12 packs today. Um, I do give away code cards on all my episodes, so please come join us. I post every Wednesday and Sunday evening at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Be the first one to come grab those code cards. Um, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm getting. Uh, Rowlet. Wishy-washy. So sad. Q-Fant. Sinisty. Feebass. Fletchling is the reverse. <laughs> yes! Uh, not one of the ones we were looking for, but certainly one I'm going to take. Um, we have pulled an Eternatus VMAX right off the bat. Number one pull of this box. Um, and honestly, this is not the first time I've seen someone pull a VMAX from the first pack on the left side of a booster box. So, someone fact check that for me. <laughs> Eternatus VMAX. Oh, that's so cool. I am excited about that one. Well, we can stop now. I'm done. <laughs> Ugh. Well, that means we're probably not going to find our scissor, um, but that's fine. Uh, that is fine. Um, about three videos ago, maybe two, I've lost track of life, um, we started talking about pull rates and expected value uh, when it comes to Darkness of Blaze, particularly. Um, but, you know, the Sword and Shield era pull rates uh, and what we've observed from other openings uh, based on a massive opening of um, Sword and Shield. Uh, that one uh, YouTuber did, uh, Diggersby, and uh, also, and I'm, see, that's why I can't talk. I can't talk and pay attention to my quests. Um, uh, uh, and then also looking at some recent booster boxes of Darkness of Blaze, so if you're interested uh, in expected value in those uh, like kinds of math and that kind of stuff, check it out. Um, at pre-release, Darkness of Blaze was trending $150 of expected value a box, and largely due to the Charizard factor. Um, so this is going to be a high value set, I think, in the long term. Centret, Larvesta, Morlol. So Morlol was the common we were looking for. Fireworks. Um, so super excited we pulled that one. Toxel, Skitty, Reverse Colorless Powerful Energy. <laughs> They're all right in the beginning here, guys. Um, a colossal, uh, secret rare gold card. Um, oh, look at how the, I don't know, I actually the light's catching it, how the, um, lines on colossal itself. Oh, that is, these gold cards, I think, are better than the last couple. Um, okay. I think I should stop. Yeah, because the rest of the box isn't going to be that good. Uh, unless we just got, like, you know, is it possible to, like, have a box that has just abnormally high pull rates? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, water Energy. Staravia. Pupitar. Swellos. Hanseer. Morlol. Again. Wishy-washy. So sad. Q-Fant. 
Dino, Sinistee is the reverse, and Grand Bull is the rare. Thank you. I was starting to get worried there. I'm just going in order. I'm starting on the left side of the box. If anybody's keeping track of, if anybody out there is keeping track of actually what's where in a box, I don't know if that's, you know, I've, I've looked at average pull rates across the entire box, but I've not actually looked at, you know, which pack where in the box. So if that's something anybody's interested in doing, uh, let me know. I'd be curious to see the data. I'm a big data junkie when it comes to this kind of stuff. Powerful colorless energy, soul rock, Sinistini, uh, Larvitar, Colette, Feebas, Purloin, Hippopotas, Flaffy is the reverse, and Hydragon is the rare. Huh. Hmm. Sorry, this, uh, this small questing thing is new to me, so I'm used to like not paying attention to everything else. And we need to enjoy the entire adventure along the way. Uh, Grass Energy, Vibrava, Simisir, Lunatone, Pansage, Golette, Vanellite, Trapinch, Teddy Ursa, Toxapex, Toxapex, and a Butterfree V. I do love this Butterfree and so glad that she is in, he or she is in the set. Um, all right, six packs in, six packs to go. Four. All right, Lightning Energy, Flaffy, Carnivine, Cape of Toughness, Found Sweet, Snubble, Meltan, Funnel Bee, Paris, Corviknight's the rare, reverse, and Ampharos is the regular rare. All right, Fighting Energy, Parasect, Spike Mouth, Cape of Tuckness, Electric, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Grimer, Clink, Skitty, Struggle Gloves is the reverse, and a Delcati is the rare. I am really, like, Darkest of Blaze is probably the coolest set we've been a part of since uh, we've been doing YouTube, um, and since we've been collecting, honest, or I guess starting to collect again, and you know, collected when I was much younger. Um, Sinistee, Furret, Yellhorn, Ducklet, Carablast, Galarian, Daramuka, Daramaka, Larvitar, Nicket, Taurus is the reverse, and a Tyranitar is the rare. There's something about this set that's just, I don't know. I mean, all the artwork for all the Sword and Shield's been pretty cool. Um, I don't know, but there is there is some uh, just overall excitement about this set as a whole. And I think there's, I think it comes down to like, oh, Combuskin is the uncommon that we were looking for today. So congratulations, we found it. Uh, Leron, Diglett, Panpour, Spinarak. I think it comes to the playability of this set. There's a lot of Pokemon in here that are really exciting to some good folks. Granbull is the reverse, and a Diggersby is the rare. Not to mention Charizard. I mean, the Charizard factor uh, is high in this set. Um, I think Charizard factor is a huge factor in any set. Um, if you're looking at value and collectability uh, and sealed value long term, um, we've noticed uh, for the most part that more modern sets, pretty much anything published by the Pokemon Company. If it's got a Charizard in the set, then the sealed product uh, is much more valuable. Rickety, Torchic, Trapinch, Jigglypuff, Gothelita, Goth Gothitel, Goth I don't know why that's so hard, and Probat V. Speaking of playable cards, this card is very exciting to a lot of folks, uh, and I'm really glad I pulled it. Um, we have one more pack in the first 12 packs of the booster box. Very excited that Darnus of Blaze is here. Um, honestly, Champion's Path, which is up next, looks like, I mean, that's our holiday set, right? That looks just as exciting, if not more. They got tons of product coming out for it. Um, 
I don't know what's driving their uh, desire to put out that much product for, for it, but um, I think it's going to be awesome. Cup Chew, Rowlet, Jigglypuff. Everyone, thanks for watching. Let's see if we get something good. Oh, the last pack. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing Full Art Ultra Rare. Um, I, this is 12 packs. This is one third of the box. Um, we have gotten ourselves uh, Full Art, two Vs, a VMAX, and this beautiful gold card. Uh, for 12 packs, that is that is awesome. Um, we also, of course, got the Morlol Mol Mol and Combuskin, um, both of which were on our quest list for today. I consider that a win. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below and subscribe for more content just like this. Check out this video right over there or just look at my collection progress here on the left. Please come join us on the Poker Card Quest Discord where we have fun, we discuss Pokemon, and I'm giving code cards away every day. Thank you for watching. Remember, collecting is an adventure. And adventures are more fun when shared with others. I'll see you again next time.